I, I, I want to be a millionaire. I don't want we to do, play it anymore. I just want we to wouldn't have pay it a million times. If we, if we didn't want to be a millionaire, we're, we're, we're going to become millionaires. Okay, this happen, is the guys. one. This is the one. Are you prepared? Are you prepared to know? What are you going to spend that on? I'm going to spend it on completely the turning the around the Ordnance Survey answer. maps and getting them to reprint them. <laughs> I'm going to spend Campaign all Campaign against it's, Ordnance it's, Survey. Oh, she's got a stupid new. surfboard again. Amy again. So bad. Who phoned this in? Okay. I know. Let's have somebody stood in a TV studio in a wetsuit. Yeah, this definitely was designed for this game. I did the surfboard the entire time. Take a look at you think this. I had golf clubs on him? It's silly. If you say something to relieve tension or get conversation going, what are you said to do? Uh, shatter the hail. <laughs> shatter, I'm <laughs> shattering the hail here. <laughs> hey, bro, let's crush the snow for a second. Uh, of we're breaking the ice. Um, we're going to splinter the frost. Yeah, yeah. I like those other options, though. Which is an informal greeting or a toast. Uh, nose, 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 nose. Chin, chin. Ear, ear. Or oh, cheek, cheek. I believe it's no, chin, no. chin. <laughs> cheek, no, cheek, cheek. No. And then the, both of you have to smash your noses Try together as quick as possible. Easy money. <laughs> yeah. like, a, like a bird pecking for food. Uh, which of the following <laughs> foods is most likely to be served with pita bread? Uh, sushi, ice cream, doner kebab, or mashed potato? I believe it's C. Doner kebab. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have it with ice cream though, personally. Fair play. That's the one. Danger trot, ice cream, and pita you. breads. <laughs> yeah. oh, sorry, I mean, I feel I'm really sick. I've been eating ice cream and pita bread all morning. Yeah. <laughs> and kebab. They go so well. And kebab. I'm trying to well, make a custom arc roll. Came with the pita. Uh, what does a flautist do for a living? Um, <laughs> plays the flute. Yeah, is the answer. Um, mm -hmm. I I'll like to check it? for errors. Joins pipes. <sighs> Uh, size. Right oh, you got something to be, Amy. <laughs> you're on the best game show in the world and you're fucking yawning. <laughs> Sighing like away. The biggest return for your time as well. Yeah. Like, yeah, no other game show offers this amount of <sighs> money. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Where do they get their money from? Uh, the advertising. All the people calling in to get on the show. Yeah. All the, all the friends. The they're second. the ones paying. <laughs> Which of these took you two to the number one spot in October 2000? I'm most surprised they got a number day. two, a number one spot, sorry. Uh, AB of the day smashing month. Week. It's uh, A, isn't it? I, they've, they've, they've made a joke of it. Um, Did I see an article the other well day done. that you two uh, lead singer Bono said he doesn't like his own music? Yeah. 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 Do you know what? Like, I think people have learned a lot since they forced their album on people. Yeah. How to never do that again? Yeah, because it, people hate it, and they remember them guaranteed. for negative reasons. I don't know why they <sighs> thought that that was going to be a good so idea. Relax, they've just given their music to like millions and millions of people immediately. Pounds. True, but you couldn't. They probably got paid it. for him. Um, well. Yeah, I know you could remove it. That's nuts. Dead a Derringer, it's a miniature type of what? Pistol, boat, pistol. telescope, or bicycle? Is it a pistol? Yeah, Derringer. I recognise mm. the name. I'm going with pistol. You just won 2,000 quid. Nice. It's the one that has like the multiple four small caliber bullets. Is it bullets. that little one? Oh, is that what it's yes. called? Is it? oh, it's the, yeah, it's okay. a danger. Cool. I've definitely heard of it before. 4K. Uh, Dahi Les Lassie and Kefir are all varieties of which food? I know this. Curry, yogurt, meat, bread. Um, is it? Do you guys want to give it a guess? Meat? Yogurt? Why do I want to say yogurt? I don't know. No, I don't know. <sighs> it's yogurt. Oh. Okay. We're going with B. You don't want kefir meat? I nope. I, that word sounds like something else, and I don't know if that's... So kefir is like a bi very popular at the moment. You'll see a lot of like yogurt drinks and shit in supermarkets showing oh. kefir. It's basically a, a, a live culture yogurt. Oh, okay. uh, if you ever get a curry, you'll sometimes see them offering mango lassies, which are a very common little treat, which is like a very nice little cooling that's drink right. for when you're having a hot curry. Pounds. Oh, okay. Uh, trichology is the branch of medicine that deals with which part of the body is the head, feet, Fingernails, and tongue, trico. Is it hair? Wait, because there's, um, there's a condition where people like pull hair out. I believe. Okay. I'm, am I? Maybe I'm pulling at the wrong thread there. But oh, good pun. That's a uh, terrible pun. <laughs> yeah. Um, trick. Is it called tricker? I'm only thinking of like words associated, like the trash trachea, or no. So you're right. Ross, I, I think. think I'm right. Let's I go think with I um, I recognize. 
I, I don't know whether. Well, before you confirm it. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard trichophobia, which um, I don't know what that is, but no, I, I think I think it's probably. <sighs> I was either hair or tongue, if I'm honest with you. Feet, I don't think it's feet. Fingernails. <clears throat> I don't know why you'd have a whole branch of medicine devoted to fingernails, but maybe you do. I mean, hair and fingernails would probably fall under the same thing because they're both made mm, of keratin, good. right? Would feet be like pediology or something like that? Yeah, something along those lines, or chiropodry or whatever. Um, and lichiology for <sighs> tongue. Yeah, I think it was that. I think it's Licky. lichiology. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Licky spittyology. Do you want to try hair? Final answer. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do it. I love to say that you just won eight thousand pounds, and I can. Yes. Yeah. Nice. nice job, Ross. That's on you. Yeah. Sweet. What's the other now one? The one with the holes. Really Tripoph is it trypophobia? Is it with the holes? Yeah, that's a trypophobia. Right. Yeah. To the Am next I question. saying right? I don't know. It's number yeah. nine. Factory three. Records. The label that featured Joy Division and New Order was based in which city? It's A. Glasgow. B. Newcastle. C. Uh, Man Manchester. D. Liverpool. Uh, um, uh. I want to say. I actually don't know where Joy Division or New Order are from, but I feel like it's Manchester. I don't Manchester, know yeah, Manchester. I don't know why, but then I could be way off. Fucking hell! I mean, I want. I, I mean, I want to say part of me is like Glasgow or Manchester. Okay. I, I was thinking Glasgow as well. I'm not sure why. Let's phone a friend. That's what I would oh, say. Yeah. Let's 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 do that. How many friends have we got left after all these betrayals? Yes, be certain. Hi, Dave speaking. This is Chris Hi. on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hello, Hello Chris. Okay, here's the situation. <laughs> I can only try. Certainly can. Uh, factory records, which say? I wouldn't guess, but if I had to, I'd go for C. Thanks, right. let's Manchester. see if you've got it yeah. right. That's... I'm going to look it up now. <laughs> really oh, sorry. and then give us the answer. Well, they did Could he not do it before? Oh, all, fucking they? hell. Could've, you could have done like a little get on the PC and... Don't trust them. Oh, is that typing? I, I hear it. <laughs> is that typing? Yeah. Are you cheating? Are you no, 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 I haven't cheating. Sorry, no, no, it wasn't to do no, with this question. No, I was still role playing, Dave. Oh, I see, I see. Because I typed at the same time. Oh, you were typing. Um, oh, wow, that really ended up. Yeah, but to I'm the not effect. cheating. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Manchester. Let's lock it in. Yeah, okay. I think, I think that's a good, 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 good option. You've just won. Nice. Yeah, yeah nice one. one. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Even though he wasn't sure, but he. But we also extra, had a bit of an extra voice, voice, an inkling, with an inkling, it felt, idea, yeah. it felt right, a tickle, if you will. To the nearest million miles, what is the Earth's mean distance from the Sun? A. Ninety-seven million. B. Ninety-three million. Seventy-nine million or eighty-eight million. <sighs> and obviously, we're all. I think it's much higher than all of those. So, well, it, it, it can't be. It can't be. <laughs> Let me know. <make. laughs> oh wait, miles or. It's million nearest million. I miles. think I know it in kilometers. So can sun. someone figure it out from that? It's like 140 something kilometers. Uh, divided by 1.6. Can I use a calculator? You have yeah, to be the. Sure. Does he have a? Does Amy have a calculator? No. In the studio? So what, 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 was the, what was the amount? All... What was the amount? I think it's roughly 140. Okay, something. so it's about. It's not. What? It's not accurate. About 90. About 80 then. Yeah, that doesn't really help us. These are all too close together for that yeah, to so help. Yeah, 93 and 97 How much of a million. swing is it between 140 and like 150? It's one of those facts well, it's that one, one point six know, don't they? kilometers in a mile. That I know that. So it's 1.6 kilometers in a mile. So you work it out from there. So if it was 160,000 kilometers or 160 million kilometers, it'd be 100 million miles, right? Yeah, let's get a ruler. Yeah. And um, Could we get a ruler? I'm just gonna. I think I've got a, a fairly long one. If we can just hold it steady enough, I think we can get to the sun. So that could that could be 88 million miles then, if it's 140 something. Do we just use a lifeline? Well, I could swing to tell between that answer. and the next one. Let's ask which the would be 93. The audience will know. Yeah, try the audience. I've still got Let, help our smooth brains massage them into a shape that reaches to the sun. Wow, that's an overwhelming okay. ninety-three million. Okay, from this that's in the in the ballpark. Um, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> you 
have Put just that in. guaranteed yourself thirty-two thousand. Nice. Hey. So we're ninety-three million miles. Immediately. <laughs> is the Earth's mean distance from the sun? Distance from. There you go. Earth distance. Miles. That's where they'll fire our brains oh. after this. In kilometers. It, it comes up with kilometers first, 149.41 million kilometers. So it's actually close to 150. We're heading right. for the really big Which one. of these film directors was born in South Shields? Ridley Scott, Michael Mann, Brian South De Palma, and Roland Joff or Joffe? South Shields South is the territory is in over the river New from Newcastle. Newcastle, man. So, yeah, south of Newcastle. Uh, fucking. D have you even heard any of these people speak? I've heard... <laughs> I mean, not that that would necessarily <sighs> dictate where they were born. I only know Ridley Scott. He's, he's British, isn't he? He is British. Are these, yeah. all, are these all... I don't know. Again, it could be like, yeah, they could all be British directors. I would I just think say 50, Ridley Scott 50 would help us either. I don't think so. It would just... Yeah. Unless we just look at their names and kind of base it off of a very basic <laughs> mentality there. Should we ask the audience at home uh because i don't have a clue i don't yeah. i don't have a clue ridley scott is my only kind of guess yeah um but it I could be anything his, really a uh, happy feet movie yeah the audience yeah. is picking yeah. it seems to be overwhelmingly a right really? now so i mean literally the only british director we know in this list oh god okay is the answer is that what it's down because <laughs> it, yeah potentially yeah, the other one's just literally there is Joke answers because we should right. know. I don't know. I'm laughing. I'm laughing my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> Calm the <laughs> laughing. Okay, so a lot of people are saying A. All right, well, let's lock it in then, shall we? We're locking in <sighs> A. Ridley Scott. You had nothing to lose by playing this question, and it's paid off. You nice. yes. Yes. Thank you, audience. Yes. Thank, thank you, audience. Thank you, real thank audience. You. For helping us out there in our conundrum. Where did Ridley Scott first get laid? <laughs> uh, the graphic novel V for Vendetta was written by which British Alan author? Moore, right? I think... I think so. It's Alan Moore. I don't uh, actually know. <laughs> so it's all on you here, Trot. That's my gut that instinct. Oh, God, I wasn't too sure. To take the £64,000. It, it it's the only thing that rings a bell to me. But you just won. Yes! You got it right. Nice. Nicely done. Ah. Oh, thank God. Nice one. I always mix them up with Neil Gaiman, who did The Sandman. Alan Ward has done a lot of graphic novels, too. Mm. Prolific. What about that, that Miller guy that did Sim City as well? Sim City. Frank, oh, yeah. Frank Miller? Frank Miller, yeah. It's going to want to Mila Kunis, obviously. What? <laughs> Famous. If you graphic play novelist and you're wrong, <laughs> Mila Kunis. You. The Dayton Peace Accord of 1995 oh, was established God. to end hostilities in which country? <sighs> Yugoslavia, Congo, Eritrea, or Chechnya? Oh shit! I it, I think it's. I mean, it could be Chechnya because there was a war oh, yeah. in Chechnya with the Russians. It was either 1995 or 1997. I can't remember. Um. Is Yugoslav is Yugoslavia is no Yugoslavia still a country? No, they split it up, right? It's now it? Bosnia, right? They've been split Part. up into a bunch of different countries. Yeah, there's a there's a bunch of different countries uh, there. I think it could be that. I one. think it is that. Yeah, it could be. Well, there was that as recent. 1995. That was pretty recent as well. Yeah, well, relatively recent. I don't think there's a peace accord, the Dayton peace accord in the Congo. <sighs> I mean, we've only got 50-50 left. Um, Let's 50-50 it. I've got a definitely. bit more confidence than I did with the other question. <laughs> All right, the directors. Oh, well, I mean, also this way, our luck guess is twice as easy. Okay. Should we go with A, a then? If it's if we don't really know. Yeah. I could You're be very miffed. Will you eat someone's hat? <sighs> Give it a go. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Cora Millions. Is this the most? No, and we've been. Now you've just won a yes! quarter of a million. <laughs> nice. Yes. Oh, um, half guess. a million is, is nice. Uh, the furthest we've got is half a million. So half a million. This is, we can do this it. Is, 
We can do it. A big deal. These are really fucking tough now, though. <laughs> that yeah, was we've got nothing to left, yeah. Chris, is it tax free? Chris? 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 Chris, is it tax free? Chris. Chris. Chris, answer me. Is it tax free cash? cash? Cash in hand? Please, cash in hand. No, it's a check. Oh. He's, he shows the check numerous times. Fuck, yeah, he does. You're right. He does. Is it tax free, please? Can I swap this out for a check? Okay, which brand, brand of footwear, footwear was, developed? was developed after its inventor had a skiing accident in 1945? <sighs> Hush Puppies Dr. Scholl. Such a loud noise. Doc Mines. <laughs> that was fierce, wasn't it? Uh, uh, what's, is there anything that's like... I mean, does skiing have to have anything to so, do with it in your mind? Or is it just... As far as I'm aware, do Dr. Scholl is um, <sighs> like a medical orthopedic kind of like... Y they, you can get Dr. Scholl branded like insoles and shit like that, right? I right. didn't know that they made their own footwear. But I would guess it could be something to do with that because a skiing accident would mean that a person would perhaps it. need, like, right, you know, yeah. robust. I don't think it's Converse because Converse would be terrible footwear for ski. Converse is, is in Converse general. Converse like um, a skating skating or, no, basketball brand. brand. They would be really bad for skiing, yeah. <laughs> They're very flat. Well, they yeah. Are, yeah. Though, that, they're big skiing? and thick. I could climb yeah. up a, a yeah. ski slope with those on. Whether it's like an insole because they broke their ankle while skiing, exactly, or it's Doc Martens where they're they're like mounted Robust. ready. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I don't think Doctor Scholl. I've never seen a pair of Doctor Scholl footwear. So I'm wondering whether that's a red herring and that's in there because they make orthopedic stuff. Oh, okay, and um, it's not footwear itself. Yeah, exactly. So I would lean because of that. I would lean over to Doctor Martins. However, what do you think, Ross? Dr. Scholl sounds like it's from like Germany or Austria where there is mountains and skiing, which is another thing that makes me. Uh, what do you think? Yeah. I mean, I kind of, in my head, I'm ruling out Converse. I'm not sure why. Just yeah. Dan. Same with Hush what Puppies. What if it is? God. Well, that's the thing. It could How be. I don't really know. Yeah. Um, but I don't know the answer at all. We're all and ruling the it thing out. Is, I'm, you, it's looking back at the question and going, like, well, did they even need to mention the skiing accident? They could have just said which brand of footwear was developed in 1945. Um, so is that to do with it? Like you said, like does the Dr. Scholl mm, thing have a link to it? might just be extraneous information. Yeah, potentially. Um, but I wonder if it is important. Because I've never seen their footwear, I, I'm saying it's not Dr. Scholl. All right. But that's because I've never seen the footwear. And I also do just know. as a big brand, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't, well, it doesn't say big brand. It just says brand of footwear. Uh, Let's just throw it in. Fuck it. We haven't got any lifelines left. Doc Martens, then. All right. Yeah? We're going to go with we're C thinking? as a guess. We have no lifelines. That's what I'm thinking. For half a million. <sighs> um, the theory behind the Dr. Scholl thing sounds Don't laugh good. at us in the comments. So you're, you're going to choose no Dr. Laughing. Martens, right? Don't laugh at him. We don't You're know. choosing C square Dr. C Martens. C square. Yeah. square Dr. Martens. Huh? Dr. Martens. <sighs> <sighs> Let's do I'm it. I'm shitting myself. You had a quarter of a million pounds. Oh. And if you got this one wrong, you'd lose 218,000. He would have just told us, right? And he did. <laughs> You're not wrong, though. Oh, yes! yes! <laughs> nice! It's right, we've got oh, half a million! Thank awesome. God. Nice. One question away. One question. Uh, this is it. This is the highest we've been before. This is the oh. million. <sighs> This could be it. I can't handle uh, this pressure. Well, this is it then. Oh, the no lifelines. How many of these have been like new questions as well? Like the director one? Yeah, mm -hmm. quite yeah. a few in this one. Answer, the Peace Accords was a new one. Mm -hmm. Which notorious criminal was born Lester Gillis on 6th December 1908 uh, in Chicago? John Dillinger, Babyface oh Nelson, Clyde Barrow, Legs Diamond. What's your knowledge on notorious criminals? Well, uh, Lester Gillis. I want to say it's. Mm, I want to say it's Babyface Nelson. But that baby was my first, Nelson. my first incident, uh, my first. They um, were from Chicago. I know that much, but whether it's 1908. Is Clyde Barrow? Is Bonnie? Are these well, Bonnie all like Chicago? Is that Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah, that's the thing. They're probably all gangsters. Babies. Yeah. That's Bonnie and Clyde. If it is Bonnie and Clyde, were they from Chicago? I don't actually know where Bonnie and Clyde are from. I mean, they're from that movie. My guess is still Babyface <sighs> Nelson. You are pretty certain on that one. And I, well, I'm. I want to lean towards so it. I do. I would say I would. I would 
just go with it. Should we just yeah. go with it? What if his leg's diamond, though? It well, should then be. we lose 400 now, many thousands, we lose a lot of money. A lot of money. Tax free well, cash. Let's just say that I'd happily walk away with 500,000 at this point. I wouldn't risk it. We would be walking away right now. We mm. don't have that, so I would say Babyface Nelson. I don't know. Oh, he's locked it in. Most people would probably have walked away with half a million. Now it's your moment of truth. Your answer is correct. Yes! yes! Oh, we, did it. we got it! Oh, That's the million! So oh my god! We did it! Baby Fels Nelson was right! Baby oh my god. god! You son of a gun! The million pound question! <laughs> All right. the millionaires! Yes. We did it! Look at this! Amy, oh. you did it! It was all worth it, look at that. <laughs> yeah! She has her own animation oh. in the surfboard. <laughs> now I can finally fix my legs. We oh, did it. We did it. <laughs> what we did it. Oh, we finally nice. did it. Oh my it god. It took us 27 minutes. <laughs> yeah, and our, this is, I mean, the series Walking is longer than most out. of our other series as well. Like, um, we've really Don Dil- we tried. Don John Dillinger. There you go. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are millionaires. He, oh, Christ, yeah, this is... So, Chicago, John Dillinger, 1903 mm-hmm. to right. 1934. Right, well, yeah. Was it Clyde Barrow? Was yeah, a robber from... Yeah. Uh, born in 1909 in Texas, Dallas, southeast okay. of Dallas. So, that's so, not that one. Not at all. What, well, Legs, was it? Diamond? Legs Diamond was a real person... Uh, Jack Legs Diamond, known as Gentleman Jack. Uh, New York, 1931. Okay. And then, he was uh, a bootlegger. And he was shot baby dead. Babyface Nelson. Mm. Well, this is the one, the, the only one it. Millie will ever make it to, guys. Fuck This is hell. it. The 2006 <laughs> edition it. of PS2. We finally we got, got a Millie. Million in there. Oh, man. We did it. Wait, is that our code to get a Millie right there? Top Don't right. Yeah, it. you put it in. Put it into Windows. Don't steal it. I don't know but what that code means. You've got to go on the PlayStation 2 store, type yeah. that in, and yeah. then they'll send you a million pounds worth as a profile of icon. P- as PS2 <laughs> promotional clothing. It's now your avatar. <laughs> Promo clothing, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I know it's 2022, um, but what I've been playing, playing this game in, uh, I know it's from 2006. Here's my code. Can I have that? Please? Give me my Can free I shit. I got a million. Like a million. Here's a We've screenshot. Got PlayStation hats. Do you want. A million in PlayStation hat? Yeah, sure, sure. I'll tell you what, it's sure. weird to see that number, though, isn't it? How often have we seen that number? No, <sighs> rarely. Very, Very rarely. rarely. <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching. There thanks is. for um, <gasps> we did it. enjoying this saga as we escalate <sighs> our brains into wrinkled dumb. It was tricky. We made ourselves look very stupid. If there's any other old school games that you remember from your childhood that are like this that you'd like us to play, let us know in the comments below. And maybe we'll give it a go. Maybe. Because we've seen the next this one. one. Beat this yeah. one. It's done. Smashed it. That's Beat. done. On to the next one. On to the next one. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>